is the UPR info. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Mr. Vice President, we took the floor in June 2014 to congratulate states on the increasing number of midterm reports that were being submitted by states. Back then, midterm reports were seen favorably as a, an opportunity to take stock uh, at midterm of the progress made and share with the international community the challenges to overcome. In the third cycle, 55 reports had been presented. Today, 14 countries which had submitted a report at midterm in the first cycle did not in the second. This is a worrying trend. We therefore commend the states which joined the UK, Morocco, Brazil, Paraguay statement today, and we applaud the voluntary commitment that can reverse such a trend and increase monitoring and assessment of the follow-up on UPR recommendations. Now that the UPR cycle lasts for five years, reporting through this long period has become all the more important. We notably believe that the UPR should follow the lead of treaty bodies which have official reporting procedures. We strongly encourage states to report orally during the Item 6 general debate one year after the review on a selected number of recommendations and not wait for the midterm point. Mr. Vice President, the UPR recommendations that states make in this room are essential. Most of the time they accurately reflect the situation on the ground. But we must not forget that the diplomatic aspect of the UPR is only one part of the process. The other part, the national implementation, leads to concrete human rights changes. Such changes should be better supported in country Time. by the international community, Time which regularly here in Geneva. Time is up.